What's going on all you beautiful people out there in the world? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Men in Black 2, a set of 10 awesome little movie toys released by Burger King back in 2002. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set we have the Portable Alien Detector, which is kind of cool. But first let's have a look at this. So inside the... <clears throat> first up in the set we have the Portable Alien Detector, which is actually kind of cool. And it comes with this official BK Agent ID card. So you would take and put a photo right there. And assignment, protect the planet, sector Earth, flip it over on the back here, secret agent message. So there's a little message we have to decode right here. And in the instructions, there's the decoder thing. So I'm not really sure exactly. This would take a minute, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not even going to try, so maybe you guys can figure it out, whoever's watching. Maybe you have this in your collection. You can take a look and leave a comment and help decode this stuff. And so let's see, what does it read here? It says, remove the detector cards from the back slot. Slide one of the three ID cards face up into the slot. Push the button to reveal the hidden alien identities. Contains non-replaceable batteries. <laughs> of course, non-replaceable batteries. So let's have a look at this thingy. And it looks like an old school flip phone. So you flip this up oh, like that. It's kind of like tabs into place. And then you flip it up and you would push this button and I'm guessing this would light up. So on the back here, you open this up and let's see, we, so we got one, two, we got three little, little cards in there in this little compartment. And then let's have a look at those real quick. These are actually kind of neat. So we have this guy and this guy and this lady right here. So three people, I, I'm not sure who they are. I have no idea, maybe they're Burger King employees. I'm not really sure. So you can kind of see on the clear side of this, there's like little designs in there. And I'm guessing, we'll set this here. I'm guessing you would slide this in right here and you can kind of make out an alien monster and then you push this button and it would, I'm guessing it would light up, but like it says in the instructions, not replaceable batteries. What? I can't, you can't, it's all like heat sealed. It's all pressed and heat sealed. So let's see what the other two show. <laughs> okay. And then this one is, so at least you can kind of make them out. I don't know, it looks like a Star Wars character actually. I'm not really sure. And then let's get this one right here. We'll slide this one in and let's see if we can make that one out. I don't know, it kind of looks like a bird duck thing. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They're just aliens, right? So there you go. It's the portable alien detector. Here too, we have Bobble and Frank the Pug. That's right. If you remember from the movie, the cute, talking, adorable little doggy, <laughs> little pug. And he's a little bobblehead. And he's got some movement here. He can wiggle his little front legs back and forth like that. And then he's got a little bobblehead. Let's see if we just set it like this. And then it just kind of bobbles around. <laughs> I don't know. You can spin it all the way around, I suppose. It's just kind of like bobbles there. Look at it. I'm guessing there's like some kind of like little spring or something in there. Or something in there, like a little counterweight. This makes his little, little adorable head just kind of... <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> and that's it. And of course, it came with your... BK Agent ID official card right there and another decoding, decoding type message. And that's it. So there you go. It's the Bobolin Frank the Pug. Next we have the Universal Communicator. That's right. It's a little, I don't know, like a little push button communicator. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But all you do is you push this little silver button right here and watch this. It kind of flips up, and then as you push this, this is supposed to light up in here, all red. And you can see it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing because it has non-replaceable batteries. And if you look, there's re no reasonable way to, to get in there and change them unless you tear it apart, and good luck with that. I've messed with these heat seal toys before, and i got to tell you, it can become a disaster. So if you get lucky, maybe it'll still work. But eventually, no matter what's, when, you, when you get it, it doesn't matter. It won't work at all. So unfortunately, ours doesn't work. We didn't get lucky. And another one of these little Agent ID cards. And I noticed that they're 
some of these messages on here are completely different. In each each little instruction manual, there is a decoder key, so you can decode the messages. Very cool stuff. So there you go. It's the universal <laughs> communicator. Very nice. Number four to say is the alien examination. That's right. So we have an agent right here, all covered in goo. <laughs> I feel bad for her. And it's just a little plastic molded figurine. Nothing special. But you come down here, and here is the alien. <laughs> This is so silly looking. It's all like fluorescent green gooey looking stuff. <laughs> That's cool. So this is the gimmick with this one. This one actually works, right? So you take the agent and back here, there's a little area, and it fits in there. And you pop it in like this. And watch this. You ready? <laughs> and that's what you do. This is eyes pop out. And then you do this. And then you push the agent down again. And the little eyeballs can pop it out. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, to be honest with you. It's it's really silly and goofy. Here, one more time. Ready? Here. <laughs> and that's it. So there you go. It's the Alien Examination. Number five is Alien Blastin' J. And it's a water squirter. So you got some tanks right here, and there's some squishy rubber. So basically, all you do is take the tip of his blaster, put it in the water, squeeze it in, and suck in all the water. And then you have yourself a little water squirter. And he's got a little bit of movement here, some articulation, if you will. You can move his arm up and down just like that. <laughs> that's, that's the little bit of movement that you get with this guy. And... A little wiggle at the hips, but he's just a water squirter. What I find curious, though, this threw me off. I had to, I had to use the old googly and check this. So I got the instructions and stuff, and it came with instructions for the Alien Vision monocular, monocular, <laughs> monocular. So I'm guessing this is another toy that's coming up in the set, because I'm just kind of going and winging it here, and I was expecting to see this, and it showed this. So. Curious, right? So there you go. It's the Agent J. I don't know what this is called, a water squirter. So number six is the monocular, the alien invasion monocular. So I just pulled this out. You could see, oh, it's just like warped around there. So I got two of these instructions. So again, with the, they all come with the little ID card and the little decoder thingy. And so again, this one's called the Alien Vision Monocular, and you can see the instructions right here. Look through the end of the viewer. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. So. All right, so you pull this out like this, and then right there, you look through there, and wow, I thought I'd actually see something in there. Is there anything in there? Let's spin it around. Let me read the instructions real quick. Okay, so focus lens by moving the, the end in and out. Oh, okay. So it's just like a little telescope. Let's see. So if we move it, does, does it screw in? Nope, you can't, it's just kind of... You kind of have to adjust it. Okay, so it is. You, so you can focus this thing. It's kind of neat. Look at this. So you can put your two fingers right here and your thumb right there, or however, <laughs> however you want to get it on there. And then you just put your little eyeball in there, and you can kind of focus in on what you're looking at. That's kind of cool. Okay, I dig it. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. And let's see. Is there anything else? No, nope, just a deco decoder thing for your card, and. That's about it. So there you go. It's the Alien Vision Monocular. <laughs> Monocular. <laughs> so these are cool. We got some shades. That's right. The Agent Shades. They're men in black sunglasses or shades. Look at that. You can put them right on your, right, right on your face. <laughs> you can block out the sun. They're just sunglasses. So we really, we don't need the instructions. You can see the little pieces here fold in and out. And... Well, that's about it. Let's see. Anything else special going on? So it has the MIB logo right there and there. And I don't know. That's it. They're just sunglasses. <laughs> They're cool. All right. So there you go. Number number eight is Worm Rodeo J. So if anybody remembers from the movie, do you remember the name of the giant worm from the movie? Let me know down below. I remember, but I'm not going to tell it. <laughs> it's an awesome movie. It's one of the coolest scenes in the movie. So it's just a solid plastic toy, and you got Jay hanging on for dear life. And underneath, you got some wheels because that's part of the gimmick right here on the side. It's a wind up. So we wind this up, and let's see. Will it actually function properly? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Maybe we got to wind it up a little more. I always get fearful of winding things up with these older sets, and I just, I just, sometimes I know they're not going to work. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so it is working a little bit. There he goes. Come on. 
So he bounces up and down on the back of the worm as it goes. It's a very heavy toy. I'm thinking maybe because of the, the weight of the toy itself, it's not really functioning properly. Let's wind it up really, 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 really good. Why not? There you go. This is as far as it goes, and let's see what happens. Come back this way. And that's it. <laughs> okay. It's spectacular, right? Like, this is just revolutionary. <laughs> this is great, though. I don't mind. And then check this out real quick. So you can see at the bottom of the corner of the cards here, there's numbers. So there's 10 different collector's cards to collect in this, I believe, 10. The highest number I've seen is nine. They're random, too. So I'm going to have to take a look and see which ones we ended up with. Number nine is really cool. It's a wristwatch, but it's it's fitted. It's, so it's not adjustable. It's solid plastic here. So it's designed for maybe someone with like two big thumbs like me or, or a smaller wrist of sorts. <laughs> so if you got a tiny little wrist or maybe even a tiny little ankle, I suppose you can put it on there too. And what's really cool about this is you can actually see the little screws right there. So they did make it so the batteries are replaceable for this. So you can light up your little LED watch. And you can see it doesn't work, obviously, but it did come with some cool instructions. Very simple stuff. How to set the watch and whatnot. Very, very standard stuff. So there are some instructions. And it shows you the diagram right there. And, of course, we have the little insert as well that tells you how to place it on your wrist. But you need tiny little wrists. And there's the decoder thing. And here, this is card number 10. So we got the agent ID card. And this one's number 10. So there you go. It's the MIB watch. And last up, number 10 is the Deneuralizer Overdrive. Deneuralizer Overdrive, which is big and heavy and I don't even know. It's just so cool looking. It came with this extra piece that you have to attach to the back like this here. And you put that on and once you secure it in place, it's kind of wobbly. It doesn't really want to stay all that well, but it is what it is. And so you have, is that Agent K? I, I guess it's Agent K. Let's see. Is that Agent K? Yeah, it reads it, Agent K Deneuralizer from the movie. This is cool. I remember this stuff. <laughs> they got flushed. That's right. Okay, so underneath you got some wheels, and this is the gimmick right here. And watch this. And it, and it makes a sound. <laughs> it's like a siren sound. Let's just keep doing it. That's what's so heavy. There's something really heavy in there. It spins around. It's making that sound, that siren sound. But this is cool. This is like my favorite one in the set. Without a doubt, I love this one. This is the best one. So there you go. The Neuralizer Overdrive. So a quick update on the card set. So we have 10 cards, but they're not all different. So it's just completely random. Which you see, we have two threes, a couple of nines, a couple of tens. So we're missing a couple to complete the set. So if you're a completionist... You got some work to do because they're completely random. You never know what you're going to get in each toy. So that's going to wrap it up. You've just seen Meta Black 2 from Burger King, set of 10 collectibles. Awesome, awesome set. I highly recommend it getting into your collection if you were a fan of Meta Black. Unfortunately, you can't replace some of the batteries on those, but you can on the watch. So that's a plus. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.